Hello everybody, Chris Tim here from Sundella Consulting. In this video, I'm going to talk about the contract creation utility in Autotask. This allows you to create bulk contracts for your customers for any of the types of contracts within Autotask. So whether it be recurring services, block hours, timing materials, or any of the other contract types, uh, this contract creation utility will allow you to do that. So let's go and take a look at how this works. So the very first thing you want to do is you want to head over to contracts.autotask.net and at this point you want to log in with your ordinary Autotask credentials. Once you've logged in, you will see here that you've got the ability to select the contract type. So if we actually click into here, we can see the different types of contracts that we're going to be able to create. In this case, we're going to pick recurring services. So let's just go and select maybe the first few of these and we're simply going to bring them over and these are the companies that we're going to create contracts for. The next screen we have in here is the ability to go ahead and create a contract name. So we might just want to call these, you know, managed services or maybe we want to call them gold or something to that effect. So if we call them managed services, we can simply just bring this down by clicking on the arrow here and it'll just create all of these contracts with the same name. But of course, if we wanted to then change it, if maybe this was a gold contract, we could simply do that. Um, and then this little button over here allows us to create these and, and add the company name to the front of it. So now you can see that the contract name actually has uh, the company name appended to it. In this case, we're going to select all of these as the default contract. So again, we click up here and we drop this, um, uh, this arrow. What this gives us the ability to do though, if we want to go in and, and highlight or select different ones, we don't want to make them the default contract, we can absolutely do that as well. So let's go ahead at this point and create a start date. So we'll simply start these from the 1st of August. And again, same thing, we're just going to go in here and, uh, and, and create that. What I normally do at this point is I go ahead and I just change this and make it a year. And I simply click on the um, uh, you know, the end date in here. So now we can go and do things like if we've got an SLA and we want to choose a particular SLA for this, we can do that. But I'm not going to pick the SLA. I'm just going to go ahead and click the next button. Okay, so what this is doing now is this is warning me that it's already actually got a default service desk contract in here. And it's saying that potentially because I've selected these as the default contract, it's going to overlap. So I'm just going to say yes for the purposes of this. Now it's asking me for the billing um, properties. So here we can go in and select the, the default contract for exclusion. So if we wanted to exclude work types or roles um, and we wanted to back that off to a different contract, we can choose what those contracts are here. You can see, um, you know, in some instances we do have um, a different contract. So we might say for ABC accountants, uh, you know, we simply want to go ahead and, and put the exclusions against this particular contract. The same thing with how do we want to approve the labor. So by default, this is going to be set as manually, um, but we can just come in here and say immediately without review. And again, we can select it to show all of them. Now, if you were then having these contracts um, on, on different periods, so you can see that, you know, we can either select yearly, monthly. Um, so again, same, same scenario, but we might say that these particular ones here, this is going to be yearly and this one's going to be quarterly. Um, but the rest of them are all going to be monthly. We absolutely can do that and we can customize how each of these contracts are going to look. Okay, so this is where the real fun part starts. So this is where we can now see all of the services that are on the system. And now we can go ahead and add these services to any of the, the contracts within all the time. So here we've got A another. We can see that we've got this contract uh, for managed services. And now simply we're going to say, all right, let's, you know, let's go and actually select some of these. So let's say we're going to have um, all the task uh, workplace seats and, you know, exchange. And we're also then going to maybe have, you know, 365 business. And we're also going to have, um, yeah, let's, let's just say for this particular contract, we're just going to have those three services. So what we would do is click this little plus button over here. And now if we move along, you can see it automatically brings in what those services are going to be for this particular contract. Then we can come in here and change the quantity. So let's say we have 10 of those um, and what the effective date is going to be. And maybe we have, um, you know, this one we're going to do at a slightly different price. We're going to do it at three pounds and maybe we've got 11 of those. 
and so on. You can just keep coming in here and changing all of those. And if you then decide, actually, I don't want this CSP Office 365 business in here, I can simply just actually remove it at this point. So then what I can do is to click on, let's just select a whole bunch of them, and then I'll just go, I want it added to the next three contracts. Now you can see I've added all of those services to the next three contracts, and now exactly the same thing applies. I can just come in here and I can just change these quantities, change what I've got in here, and so on and so on. And I can do this per contract, so you know, on this one I'm gonna leave it the same, and all the way along, I can see which companies I'm adding these for. So maybe on this one, I don't want Intune, and I'm, I maybe don't want all the task workplace yearly on this. So I can just simply come in here and change all of this information. And then equally, I might say, okay, for these companies here, for abc.com, I want it to have um, you know, these two, or this support AV bundle. So I can simply come in here, I can add the bundle. And when I do that, it just picks everything that's inside that bundle. And again, I can then go in and actually choose the price um, of, of each of those items within the bundle. And that's it. I can then click on finish. These contracts will go and get created. And then I can go back into the contracts themselves and I can go and make any changes that, uh, that need to be made. So in here, if we go and have a look at this ABC accountants, let's actually go and have a look at this contract that we've created. And then if I simply click in the services, what we will now see is here is all of the information that has been added as far as uh, those services are concerned. Now, of course, once it's in here, I, there's nothing stopping me then just coming into here and adding services manually. Um, but the bulk contract wizard is really good because it allows you to just kind of do all of that stuff up front. And then in the same way as you would, as per normal, it allows you to just come into all the task and make any of these other changes that you need. So it really is as simple as that. I really hope that you uh, like and subscribe to this video and, and click the bell to get notified of, of any new videos as they come out. It really does help me to make more of these videos and helps to support the channel. So thank you very much for watching and look forward to seeing you on the next video.